Hello and welcome to another War Thunder video, and well, this has taken a long time to get to this thing, hasn't it? This is the Heinkel HE-100. And, oh boy, where do I start with this plane? Um, well, it's not as bad as it used to be. Um, I can go ahead and say that with quite a bit of confidence. Um, so, first off, the HE-100. Uh, battle rating of 1.7 in arcade. I don't know what it is in realistic. Uh, I don't want to find out. Armed with three MG-17 machine guns, um, effectively nose-mounted. There's two in the wing roots, but I'm going to call them nose-mounted just because they're close, so close to the, the fuselage. So, three nose-mounted machine guns, 500 rounds of ammunition apiece, and... Well, I should probably go ahead and get this out of the way. I like this plane. And the reason for that is because, well, first off, speed. Yes, this is the fastest lower. This is the fastest low-tier aircraft in War Thunder. But it comes at a cost. This thing is made out of cooling units, and not only that, but this thing does not have much ammunition. Or at least it doesn't have very good guns. So, yes, this is the most... This is the fastest low-tier aircraft in the game. But would you rather be flying something that's fast or that can actually kill something? I know what my bet's on. So, what are my problems with this plane? Well, actually, they're... There are not many problems that I have with this aircraft. In fact, overall, I very much enjoy this aircraft. The problem with it is that the machine guns are just not adequate. The one problem with the Heinkel HE-100 is the machine guns. It's just not enough firepower. It really isn't. And, let me just put it into better terms. That HE-51, if I was in, hell, if I was in an Italian, if I was in an Italian aircraft, you know, with their horrible machine guns, I would have killed that guy. That HE-51, he wouldn't have survived. Not only that, but if I had been in a P-26, a pea shooter that HE-51 wouldn't have survived. So, the HE-100, it's fast, it's very maneuverable, as you can see. It has very good climb rate, the energy retention is very good. It's... Uh, it's just... The overall flight characteristics and flight handling of the plane, like the roll rate is very good, the rudder is very good, the flaps definitely are very nice, they do help the maneuverability quite a bit. The overall maneuverability of the plane is very good, acceleration, top speed, climb rate, energy retention, very good. Uh, not very durable, but that's primarily due to the fact that the thing is made out of fuel uh, made out of, not fuel tanks, uh, cooling units. And the, you know, it's a very good plane. The problem is the machine guns. They're horrible. And you might be looking, you might be sitting here watching this saying, well, Tiger, you've got six kills. You just you just shot down a sixth aircraft. Yeah, but I'm almost out of ammunition. <laughs> um, and by the way, here's the uh, speed and acceleration for you. There is two enemy aircraft on my ass, at the very least. And I am going to outrun them.
In fact, two of them, I think, actually get shot down, and there's the last one. He just broke off. So, yes, this thing is very fast. Um, especially in a dive, this thing can build some speed up. But it's just not very well armed at all. And... I, I know I'm beating a dead horse here, but... The guns are awful. That is the one problem with this aircraft. And it's a very big disappointment. I'm so disappointed with this aircraft. Because of the guns. And... I love this plane. I really do love it. The, the the plane flies like you wouldn't believe. It flies like a dream. But the guns suck so much. And I'll keep harping on about this in the uh, next replay. I think I get one or two more kills here. And I think that was the... Yeah, that was the last one. So, yeah. I'll keep harping on about this in the next match. Alright, and here we are with the second match, and this will be the last one, so, uh, yeah. So, anyway, like I was saying, the the Heinkel HE-100, at least in arcade, I haven't flown it in realistic, and to be entirely honest, I don't want to, uh, and I'll get onto that in a bit. But, in terms of arcade, the HE-100 is a very, very fun-to-fly, very good aircraft. Except for the machine guns. And actually, if you might have noticed, I'm primarily going after lower-tier aircraft in this when I'm flying this thing, like biplanes. And the reason for that is just because of how poor the guns are with this thing. It, it, they really are horrible. Even with machine gun buff of the most recent patch, it still is not very good. And... <sighs> when this thing came out, um, I think it was what, like 1.65, 1.61? I was actually in the middle of researching, uh, or I think it was 1.59, I was in the middle of researching the uh, Arado 234s. So, I had a few more higher tier German aircraft left to research. And I researched this thing right after I'd got done researching the uh, 190A5U2. And I just never flew it because, in fact, I actually switched research from the Arado to the 190 to this thing. And the reason for that is just so that I could get them out of the way and I didn't have to research them again. Um, or I didn't have to research anything after the Arado 234s. Uh, or no, it was the 20A 335s, I think, is when these were when this thing was implemented. I'm not, I can't exactly remember. So, yeah, I've had this thing for a while and I haven't flown it simply because of the machine gun. The, the fact that the machine guns were absolutely horrible. However, even with the buff to the machine guns, it's really not worth flying because of the fact that it's only got the three machine guns. The, the aircraft itself is, like I, like I keep on saying, the, the HE-100, in terms of its flight characteristics, in terms of its roll rate, its acceleration, its speed, its everything except for the armament is just amazing and I'm not comparing this thing up against equal tiered fighters I'm comparing this against like 3.7 fighters and this thing would easily be a 3.7 fighter if it didn't have these machine guns and this is why it's a big disappointment to me and it's because 
the, the plane is just so much fun to fly. I love the plane. I absolutely love it. But the machine guns, I can't fly it with these machine guns. It's just because it doesn't have enough damage output. If this thing had, if this thing even had an MGFFM, an MGFF or an MGFFM cannon, this thing would be worth flying simply because of the cannon. But because it only has machine guns, it really isn't worth flying at all. It's just not worth your time. And I did actually clip that Spitfire on the way through. Fortunately, it didn't really do any damage to me. So yeah, um, <laughs> I really do like this plane, but I just can't fly it. <laughs> I really can't. And it's it's a real shame. I I'm very disappointed with this plane. Um, and really the only way that you could improve this aircraft is by giving it something that it never had, uh, or at least by my knowledge it never had, um, or at least according to Gaijin it never had. Um, so yeah, the... Now, on to realistic. The reason why I never want to fly this thing in realistic is because I've fought one of these things in realistic before. And I was not overly impressed. Now, granted, it was before the machine gun buff, way before the machine gun buff. In fact, it was only a little bit after the plane was actually released. I think it was the day or two after it was released. Uh, I engaged it. So... For those of you who may know, I released a video on the P-36G very shortly after this thing was released. And in that video, I got into an engagement with one of these aircraft, an HE-100. And I scored a critical hit on its liquid cooling system. I think it was about a minute or two, a minute to 30 seconds later, the aircraft's engine had died. Now, not too long after that, Mags TV released his own video on the HE-100 in which he said that in realistic battles, the most amount of time that he has ever managed to keep the engine alive, and this is a very good pilot, by the way, far superior to me, he managed to keep the engine running after taking a single hit to the liquid cooling system for a total of two minutes at best. Two minutes. And that was with, I would imagine, with uh, manual engine control, which you really don't want to use on, uh, on German planes, um, and uh, throttling back, letting the engine cool off. Two minutes maximum. So this is really why I don't want to fly the aircraft in realistic is because of that. And not only that, but from what I have gathered, the HE-100 also has very, very bad overheating problems in realistic due to the fact that it has so many... due to the engine, basically. Because the engine is it requires all of the cooling systems that it has in order to keep the plane going at the speeds that it needs to achieve. So, yeah, the the HE-100, it's, it, in terms of flying it, it's, it's very much like the old MC-202. In terms of actually flying the plane, it's fantastic. But in terms of doing anything in the plane, like trying to kill anything. As a military aircraft, it's terrible. Absolutely terrible. The plane itself is fantastic, but you can't kill anything with it. <laughs> well, I mean, obviously, well, no, you can kill stuff in it, but you don't want, you don't want to fly this thing in realistic. In arcade, 
you can fly it, but don't expect much. Um, you have to be a very good shot in arcade, and you <laughs> have to get used to those machine guns, and they really do suck. Uh, what I can really recommend if you don't really want to fly this thing, uh, but you maybe do want to, like, if you want to go ahead and spade this thing, and you're, maybe you are interested, maybe you do want to fly the plane. What I would recommend doing is either buying premium, uh, premium account time, at least for a day, because it'll, if you're good enough, it'll take you about an hour or so. It took me, like, 30 minutes to spade this thing. Um, in fact, I still have, I think, seven or eight free repairs, no, seven free repairs on my HE100. Um, so yeah, I didn't really, uh, I flew five games in the HE100. I got damaged in three of them. I was sh rammed out of the sky by a friendly in one of them. Um... Never shot down, so my only death in this plane so far has been to uh, being ran by some dumbass of a friendly. And then, uh, actually no, I only played four, four games in it. So, ran by a friendly, damaged in two, and uh, escaped one unscathed. So I still have seven free repairs on this plane. Uh, I managed... Like I said, I spaded this thing in about a half an hour of flight time. Um, so yeah, this thing is very easy to spade. Now granted, I am using a premium account, but in fact, you know what, let me see if I can find it. Um, where is my HE100? Yes, I think I only died once, if I'm correct. You know what? Let's do this. Two. Oh, come on. There we go. HE100. Yep, there we go. Four matches, one death, 21 kills. So, yeah, y you can get pretty good results on this plane, but <laughs> you need to get used to those machine guns. And also, I recommend going after fighters only, specifically biplanes. Um, I think the highest durability aircraft that I ever shot at was a Catalina. I didn't get the kill. The highest durability aircraft that I got the kill for was a BR-20, which is a Tier 1 Italian bomber. And that took about a third of my magazine. Uh, so, yeah. Um, good thing about this aircraft, though, is that, at least in arcade, the mid-air reload times, if you have a very good crew, are very, uh, they're very short. Uh, if you have an expert crew with max reload skill, it is only six seconds. If you have an ace crew with max reload skill, it is, I think, five seconds. Um, so yeah, very quick reload, which is a nice, uh, which is very good. Um, and by the way, comparison to that, a uh, 20 millimeter cannon on an ace crew, or a 20 millimeter cannon on an expert crew with max reload skill is, I think, uh, 20 seconds. Or no, 20. No, that's for 30 millimeter cannon and higher. Um, for 20 millimeter cannon, I believe it's 15 seconds or 15 or 10 seconds. Uh, for 50 caliber machine guns, it is, I think, 6 seconds or 7 seconds, and that's on an ace crew. Um, so yeah, very short reload times for the, uh, for the machine guns, which is a bonus, but like I said, the machine guns, they're, they're terrible. <laughs> they really are terrible. So... That's all I have to say on the HE-100, and I know for I, I know that I really did beat those machine guns pretty badly, but really, uh, <laughs> that is the only problem with the HE-100. That is the only bad thing about the aircraft. Everything else about it is fantastic. 
the handling characteristics of the plane are perfect. They're everything that you would want them to be, especially out of a German aircraft. But the guns suck so much, and it's really disappointing. But, oh well. That's what we got, so that's what we got to work with. Uh, at the very least, it's a 1.7 aircraft, so you shouldn't be going against uh, too high-tier aircraft most of the time. Um, so, yeah. If you're lucky, you won't be up-tiered too much. <laughs> uh, for those of you flying this thing in realistic, um, I don't know what to say. <laughs> Maybe I'll take this thing up into realistic, uh, at least in a test flight or a custom battle, and see how it performs, but I'm really not eager to do that. Um, so yeah, uh, and that is the last of my German fighters spaded. Um, and actually, before we go, uh, we'll be right back. So this is kind of just because there's been a lot of people, at least in AOD, who have been asking me you know, what I have left, like, what I'm researching right now, and, uh, well, to answer your questions, um, yeah, this is my American tree. Um, I have a total of, I think, 60 aircraft left, uh, in total to research, and in fact, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and get on my calculator here. So, yeah, this is my American tree, for, for those of you who have been wondering. Um, <laughs> I don't have all that much to research. So let's see, P-38, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And I don't have these two because they were uh, introduced after I had already researched that, so yay! So there's my American tree. My German tree is completed. I have nothing left to research in the Germans uh, at all, although I do still need to spade the D12 and the 2TA-152s, which I'm kind of looking forward to. The Russians... Well, yeah, I have nothing left to research on the Russians except for these. Uh, the Year 2 ACH 30 BL, which is, just rolls right off your tongue, doesn't it? <laughs> TU 2S, TU 2S 44, TU 2S 59, TU 4, TU 14 T. Those are the only German planes I have left to research. For the British, now I have quite a lot of British aircraft left to research, primarily because I have not flown the British as much as everyone else, um, although mostly it's bombers. So, both the Hamdens, the Sunderland, uh, three Wellingtons, that's six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, see me dear, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, so yeah, twenty, uh, yeah, twenty-two aircraft, well, let me see, three, four, Five, six. Yeah, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eight, nineteen, twenty, yep, twenty two. So twenty two British planes. And that's a, this is including jets, of course. Um Let's see, what about for the Japanese? Oh, I haven't researched the J1N1 yet. Oh, cool. Yes, and I recently researched the N1K1, so I no longer have that to research. Um, I need to buy the F30. Let's see, one, two, the N1K1. I actually had the, this, I actually had both of these two N1Ks before that was put into the game, so that's why I don't have that. Uh, three, four, one more Japanese jet left to get. Um, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen Japanese planes. And for the Italians, I only have three aircraft left to research. 
Well, actually, no, I have four aircraft left to research. So, yeah, the and they're both of the G fifty, uh, both the G ninety ones, the F eighty four, and the P one hundred eight. So yeah, this is all of the Italian aircraft I have left to research. Uh, all of the aircraft left in War Thunder I have left to research. And if you want to know how many at how many premium planes I have left to buy, one, two. And by the way, yes, I recently did purchase the KI-96, so I might do a video on that soon, so two, uh, two Japanese, one, two, three, four, five British, so seven. Come on, load. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and I really want these. There's 13. Fourteen. Fifteen. And I don't want either of those. Yeah, come on. So fifteen. And I think there's only one more American plane that I have left to buy in tree. Uh... 16. And actually, uh, if I can get the money, soon I will actually have the P-38K and the P-51D-10 added to this as well. So, yeah. Uh, 16 aircraft left in the entire... 16 premium aircraft left in all of War Thunder to buy. And that brings the total amount of aircraft that I have left to get, like to acquire, out of all of the regular premiums, out of all of the aircraft to research, 76 aircraft. <laughs> okay. I have 76 planes left to research, and most of them are jets and bombers. Most of them, I think, are actually, I think, about... 80% of the aircraft I have left to get, or uh, even research, are bombers. And <laughs> so, yeah, I, I don't have much of anything left to research. And if you were watching, like, the, the trees, like the spades, as you can see, my entire U.S. Navy line, except for the F-7F, is spaded, and these aircraft right here are just planes that I don't want to fly. Same with these two P-38s. I don't want to fly them. So, yeah, this is this is why I haven't really been trying to go after anything. It's because I already have whatever I want, and whatever I do want, I already have it spaded. <laughs> except for the... Except for the TA-152s and the D, uh, the Focke-Wulf D-12. So, yeah, and that HE-100, there we go. Have that thing spaded, so I don't want I don't have to fly that anymore. So yeah, um, <laughs> uh, can we get some, like, hey Gaijin, if you're watching this, can you please put in the HG1, HG2, and HG3 262s? Like, just have these all collapsed into one little tab, and then give us the HG1, HG2, and maybe put the HG3 after them, uh, in between this and the MiG. That would be great. I would love to have those three aircraft. But anyway, I doubt that you ever will, so what's the point in asking? <laughs> um, anyway, that's it for me, and I'm going to go and fly something other than that.